Hello everyone and welcome to NNS Explain. My name is Andrew. Today is a really special episode. If you're seeing this video, that means that proposal 133373 has already passed, which includes a really special feature called import custom tokens. Importing ICRC tokens in the NNS DAP is one of the most requested features. And if you're seeing this episode of the NNS Explain, that means that the feature is live. So if you go to tokens, you see I already have Windows 98 imported, but now let's import a few other ones. The simplest way that I found to import new tokens is to go to ICP swap and here under info and swap, you will see a list of tokens and they are ordered by 24 hour uh, volume. And here you can see your favorite tokens and the ones that are most traded. So let's just import Bob, but I will show you another way as well. And the canister ID that you see here, this ID is the letter canister ID of the Bob token. So we copy this, we can come back to the NNS tab and click on import tokens. Here you can import ledger canister ID and the index canister ID. The index canister ID will show you your, your transaction history, but it's not mandatory. So pasting the ID here, next. And here you can verify, you can go to the dashboard and see that this is the ledger canister ID that you, uh, that you want to import. And be careful because tokens can pretend to be other tokens. So for example, instead of Bob, this could have CKBTC's logo and, and, have, and say CKBTC. So make sure that you don't just import any random, random token that you saw on Twitter, but uh, you, can, you verify somehow that the ledger canister ID you're importing is the one that you want. But this looks good. And major uh, decentralized exchanges, ICP, usually do some kind of vetting. And also if you have some of the largest volume, it's, it's kind of a, a sign that the token you're importing is the one you want. You can see, for example, NICP by Water Neuron has 211,000 uh, total value locked. So you see the same ledger canner study here. All right. Going back, now I see Bob. So I can either copy this or I can go to my profile and I see my ICP account ID, but what I wanna have is the principal ID. I can copy this, come to my second screen and, and send some Bob over. All right, we should be good. <clears throat> Quick refresh. And now I have my Bob here. And if you go back, you can see that now you have both Windows and Bob already imported in alphabetical order. Um, and one more way to import tokens. So for example, if you go to the dashboard, here I have Chainfusion and let's say I want to import CK Pepe or one of the other Chinky tokens. And now I wanna show you how you can import the ledger canister ID as well as the index canister. So go to ledger. Here you want to copy the ledger canister ID going back to the NNS ledger. And let me close this. And here I want to import the index canister. But let's say that I forgot it and I just simply imported this as is. CK Pepe looks good. So once I imported CK Pepe, you see that there is a little message saying that the transaction history is not available and then I can import an, an index canister. And this is what we're going to do now. So we go back to the dashboard and here you see the index canister of Pepe. Copy this back to the NNS and then I can add an index canister and import it like this. refresh boom I have my CK Pepe completely set up so I can come back so right now CK Pepe doesn't show up because I have zero balance but if we disable this filter then you can see that I have CK Pepe here at the top uh, but because I don't have any CK Pepe on this account how about we just remove it so you go back 
And here, if you click on these three dots, then you can see you can remove the token or actually you can even go to and check out the ledger canister and verify that this is the token that you wanted to import. Here, for example, if you scroll down a bit and you're curious of, about the total supply, then you can scroll down, click on this and call the ICRC1 total supply and you get this number in E8s. Going back, again, I want to remove CK Pepper. And I'm back with my with my sweet, sweet ICRC meme coins. So this is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching and have fun with your ICRC tokens in the NNS tab. See you next time.